Welcome to my channel, Tessa Kohler Art. If you've been with me for a while, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate an acrylic pour from start to finish, giving you tips and tricks and steps to make it a smooth process. And we're going to get inspired by this painting I did a couple years ago, which I took from this photo that I captured while on my travels in Florida a couple years back. Here I am on Instagram too, Tessa Kohler Art, find me. So I'm going to do a mashup of these images and turn them into an acrylic pour. I first get all my supplies and equipment ready, my cups, my jars, to contain the paint, canvas, and the paint itself, which I get from Ace Hardware Store. It's this beautiful paint that is typically for walls and indoor and outdoor stuff, but I use it for painting because it creates really beautiful textures and makes my work re look really unique, which is what I'm going for. So I always give it a good mix, a good stir, then I pour the white into its container. I also use the color blue, a deep blue color, and I took a cup here and I cut it in this area. So I, you take scissors and you create a shovel-like shape so you can easily manipulate the cup as you're pouring. I poured the deep blue gloss base paint, which I also got at Ace Hardware, into this cup so that I could be more flexible in how I poured the color. We're only using two colors here, so I used the white as my base color or base layer, which I do this because I want to create a very visually dynamic painting. And doing this base layer allows me to be very dynamic in the creation of the painting and how all the colors, even though we're only using two colors, you can create a lot of tints, tones, and shades, and different shades of blue, and with a white base, really interesting things happen. A composition emerged pretty much right off the bat as I kept the two images that I showed you at the start of the video, my painting and the photograph of the wave. Having that white base made it easy to create different shades of blue, from sky blue to a deeper blue to more of an ultramarine blue. Water is a combination of tints and tones. It reflects the sky, and I felt that I was getting some sky textures in there as well and reflections, which was pretty cool. I took a sponge, as you're seeing here, to emphasize the splashing wave, like you saw in my painting and the photo. Another technique I want to show you guys is I took the plastic underneath the canvas and folded it over the painting to create even more texture and more of a wave-like, watery-like appearance. And it did something really neat with the paint. It created a kind of texture as I applied the plastic a second time and pulled back. I mean, it just created this beautiful dripping effect. With my sponge, I dabbed some of the blue paint and with my stick, weaved in some of the white paint to create even more texture and dimension with these two colors, more shades. 